What's in a name? Today I want to unpack the name Jesus because the name is so familiar to us as Christians, but sometimes we don't think about what it means. Matthew 1, 21. Mary will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Wow. Talk about making naming your child easy. An angel appeared literally to them and said, this is what you're to, you're to name him. Why the name Jesus? The name Jesus is literally Jehovah saves or Joshua. And it means God saves. It means salvation. And it, this is reflecting the fact that the greatest need that we have, all, any person has, is forgiveness of sins. And that's what God, want, God the Father wanted Jesus to be known for. The forgiver of sins, the one who gives us new life, the one who restores us, the one who saves us. In the world today, Jesus is known as a lot of other things. Great teacher, a great ethicist, a healer, the founder of Christianity, a revolutionary, all kinds of things. And these are not necessarily bad, but these are secondary things. The main thing that Jesus came to do is to save us from our sins. Let's not forget that that's his jo job. And our job, of course, is to announce that, to get the word of the gospel out. His name is Jesus. Jehovah saves Joshua because he will save us from our sins. We have some exciting things coming up this week. Um, Sunday morning is Christmas Sunday. I can't believe it's Christmas Sunday, but this Sunday is Christmas Sunday, the last Sunday before Christmas, and I will be acting out a message on, entitled Christmas in the Old Testament. You don't want to miss this, and it'll be fun. Afterwards, we're going to be taking pictures in the lobby, and we have someone who's an amateur photographer, someone new in church, who's volunteered to do that. It will get you a really sharp picture as well. So this Sunday, Christmas Sunday, hope you can be here in church physically. If you can all be here physically in church, uh, I would encourage you to do that. Sunday night, our children are doing their youth, uh, their children's play, and we're looking forward to that. Doreen always does a great job. That will be at 6.30 sharp. Our Christmas Eve service is coming up on Christmas Eve, seven o'clock, so that'll be fun. That's always a, a, just a beautiful to service at night. We read the scriptures, sing the Christmas songs. If you haven't been to it, it's really touching. I encourage you to make it. And then finally, a week from Sunday, it's the day after Christmas, you know, the night before Christmas. This is the day after Christmas. And we hope you can come out then as well and bring people with you. I know a lot of us will have guests and relatives and friends crashing in our house or something. But if you can bring them along, that'll be good. And uh, we even have a prize we're giving out for the person who comes and brings the most people. But that'll be fun. So anyway, Christmas is upon us. It's an exciting time of year. And remember, it's all about Jesus, for he will save us from our sins.